With Profoto, you have access to a great number of custom fonts to use on your site. The easiest and quickest way to add a font is through our integrated Google Fonts option area. Google hosts and provides hundreds of free, high quality custom fonts. And you can add any of these with just a couple of clicks of a button right in the Profoto option area. The first step is to search through Google's repository of fonts and decide which one you want to use. Go to google.com slash fonts, and there you can search for and scroll through hundreds of fonts. You can sort by style, thickness, slant, width, and even international character sets. Once you've decided on a specific font, just take note of its name so you can enter that into Profoto. You can ignore all the other options. All you need is the name. Once you have the font name, go to Profoto Customize Fonts Google Fonts. There, click Add Google Font. Profoto will then show you a text input area where you can type in your font name. As you type, Profoto will sift through all the available Google Fonts to help you find the exact one you chose. When you see the font you're after, select it, then click the Choose button. After you click Choose, Profoto will show you a preview of your font so you can see what it looks like. Next, you select a fallback font. The fallback font is used if for some reason your Google font is not loading correctly. It's a good idea to choose a font that's somewhat similar to your Google font, if at all possible. Also available will be any language subsets, if there are any that come with your font. For example, if your site is in a language with custom characters, you'll check the subset for that language if it's available. Once your Google font is added, you can then select it for any font area within your Profoto site. So anywhere you're given an option to select a font within the Profoto Customize pages, you'll now see the Google font you added. It's as easy as that. You don't really want to add more Google Fonts than you're actually using on your Profoto site, because each Google Font you add has to be downloaded by your visitors' browsers. So having extra unused Google Fonts can slightly slow down your site page load. It's also a good idea not to use more than just two or three for this same reason. You want your pages to load as quickly as possible. It's as easy as that.